Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another real estate math practice question. How does this work? Well, if you're new here in the series, we cover real estate math practice questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. That's right, so we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. And honestly, guys, it's as simple as that. Now, this series has been such a fantastic, amazing experience for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. Of course, if you want more of this kind of stuff, check out our website realestatelicensewizard.com. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So today's question is a little bit of a longer one. Uh, so buckle up, sit tight and get ready. So yesterday we were covering front foot problems or front footage, and we're going to be doing more or less the same thing today in this problem. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. It says Judy is considering buying a lakefront property. She learns that a property there just sold for $550,000 and had frontage on the lake totaling 550 feet. About how much did the property sell for per front foot? And it gives us four options here. $50, $1,000, $1,250, and $1,500, obviously all per front foot. So how do we do this? What's going on here? Well, I'm going to explain that in a few minutes. As always, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, figure out the problem, uh, bust it out, all that good stuff. So go ahead and do that right now and get your answer. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. Um, so how do we do this? <laughs> well, first starters, uh, why is this important? Why is this important? Well, we're talking about lakefront property here. So when we're talking about frontage on the lake, we're talking about prime time real estate here, guys. We're talking about on the water. We're talking about access to the water, all the good stuff. You can have your family playing in the sand or, or whatever you want to do. Um, and that's why it's really important to address these front foot or front footage problems. So it is basically just a property measurement of the front footage of a parcel property adjoining, again, street or water. Um, so in our case, we're talking about water. So when a lot is described, the front feet are always given first. I explained that in the last video. But if we're looking at this problem, it's slightly different. They actually gave us what the front feet is, or I'm sorry, it says totally 500 feet. And we can assume or we can know that it is the front feet. Why? Because it says it's the frontage on the lake totaling 500 feet. So instead of having to determine which number we have to use here, we actually already know the number uh, that we have to use because they already explain it to us in this problem. So again, it says here, it says, and had frontage on the lake totaling 500 feet. So reading that and knowing that, we know that that is the front feet or the front ditch. Now, knowing that we could do our problem, which we did just like we did yesterday. Um, and basically, we're going to be taking this number and that number, and we're going to be doing a little division. So let's do that real fast. So we're going to be taking this $550,000, and we are going to divide it by 500 feet, or I'm sorry, 550 feet. And that is going to give us 1000 that's right. It's going to give us $1,000, which is our price per front foot. So to recap, okay, in these types of problems, what's important to do is to determine what the frontage or the front feet is. In our case, in this problem, they gave it to us. Yesterday, we had to determine which was which. And again, if that is the case, when a lot is described, the front feet are always given first because it makes sense. Think about it. If you're looking at the street or let's say in this case, you're looking at the boat uh, or you're looking at, you know, on the boat and you're kind of looking, oh, like how wide is that property? How, you know, how wide is it? Or you could see even say, how long is it from right to left? It doesn't matter the language. It matters what's given first. And in that instance, it would be whatever number is given first, because that's what you're going to be measuring first. And that is the same thing with the problem yesterday when it said, oh, how wide, you know, how wide is that property? And again, it was the first number. And that is our front feet because it is front from where we are looking for. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Uh, again, as I mentioned yesterday, this is one of the most like complicated math related things uh, that you guys are going to see on the exam just because 
you really have to do some critical thinking here. The math isn't hard. We know that. It's simple division or simple multiplication. It's simple math, but again, it's critical thinking and breaking down what numbers we have to use, when we have to use them, and all that good stuff. So in this case, again, we're just going to be taking that $550,000, dividing that by 550 feet, which is the frontage or the front feet on the lake, and then it's going to give us $1,000, which is our $1,000 per front foot. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so hopefully you guys understood that. Any comments, questions, leave them down below. That's pretty much everything you need to know about front footage and front feet. Do not be confused about this, guys. It's again, like once you understand this, you're going to feel so much more confident going into the exam. And when you see problems like this, you're going to be like, oh, I know how to do this. This is actually like kind of easy. And it really is. Don't be confused with all these words they give us. Who cares that Judy is considering buying a lakefront property? Really, all we need to know is what the property is sold for, uh, what the front feet was or what the frontage was. Uh, and basically, we just have to do the math. It's as simple as that. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do videos like this all the time. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. All that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from RealEstateLicenseWizard.com. Make today magical.